next option we are going to talk about here is called the managing the binary files like so in a normal scenario you are maintaining the version control on the source code which you are using right once you build the binary you may also want to maintain version control on that so that if you want to roll back you want to go back to the previous version of the image you can do that or otherwise like i am writing a binary file and that will be consumed by some other application or i need to download the binary file uh, i need to keep it in a centralized position from there it has to be downloaded on the actual machine and i should use that so these kind of things we have the uh, we need to have a binary repository store okay so that is where artifactory comes into picture there are two major products available in the market okay one is called jfrog and one is called nexus so jfrog is available in both open source and enterprise format okay here we are going to use the open source format of jfrog in the in the similar docker method so we will see that okay and we will show how to push and pull images to the jfrog artifactory so let us connect to our node machine so hereafter we don't need the sonar just of course there let me connect to the node and let me stop the sonar cube container so docker stop this container id right Docker stop sonar container ID, and then so let me run the artifactory. Docker run T. So artifactory runs on two port numbers. 8081 and 8082 8081 for api based communication and 8082 for the ui based communication that is via the browser so let us open both 8081 so then 8081 or port 8082 8082 so this is the reason i have so this is the image name for jfrag community edition so 8081 8082 so it will download the image and it will start from this to access this i need to use the I need to access the node public IP. Node public IP. And port number eight zero eight one. So once the jfrog UI is coming up, it will load it for you. Username is admin. Password is password. If you click on Get Started, it will ask you to set up the new password. So it should have a alphabetical uppercase, and then uh, it should have a numerical. So let's retype the password. Next. 
next and the base url you can skip it default proxy you can skip it and click finish so you will see a page like this welcome to jfrog platform create and manage your repository we are going to create a repository so let us first create a repository and in that repository we will try to push the uh, jar file or var file which we are going to create so click on create repository and we can create local repository if you see the screen it's kind of broken so let me create the create local repository and select the generic and the repository name let me name it as java app so click on create repository in that select local repository there select generic and name it as java app and save and finish so to see that if you come to your dashboard and under artifactory under the artifacts you can see as of now there is no package inside the java app once we upload we will see the content here so dashboard artifactory artifacts you will see all the artifacts so now so like the sonar we have installed a plugin so for artifact also we need to install a plugin let me install the plugin manage jenkins manage plugins and in the installed search for a plugin called right available the plugin is we will see a plugin called artifactory let's install it without restart and then select the restart jenkins so my jenkins is restarted so once we restarted it so let's configure the artifactory server details in the manage jenkins manage jenkins configure system if you search for artifactory you will see option called jfrog okay in the jfrog you can see option called here yeah, add jfrog platform instance select that and there in the instance id you can name it as jfrog and we will use it in our pipeline jfrog and the jfrog platform url you can give the ip address colon 8082 so let me repeat instance id i am going to name it as jfrog in the url http ip address colon 8082 in the user name is admin and the password give the password which you set is the password which i set so if you click on test connection you should be able to get a result like this So if you got this result, we are good. So let me save this, and let me start writing the pipeline for the JFrog. And so here, so in this repo, I have a pom dot XML. If I execute this pom dot XML. 
this will generate a war file for me there is a war file it will be generating and let me push the war file to the jfrog let's like this pipeline and any tools this page steps and let us put the git Page build and steps search in the end clean build. Page is a frog so this is also a script scripted steps script so I'm going to define two variables and I will use these variables in the upload thing so def server equal to artifactory dot server with the name jfrog. So this is the artifactory server name I have defined and def. equal to files Target slash star dot bar comma. So this will generate a war file under the target folder. I want to upload that and target where exactly it should push. It's like it should push it to the Java app. Java app. Close this. Okay, I need to close this bracket. And I need to close this. So that I'm going to call the server dot upload. And I'm going to call the so this is the server. I'm calling server dot upload. Upload specs. Okay. 
Perfect. Tubos. Tubos. Tubos on desktop. So let me save this and let me write a build now. We are just building it. And let's say to build. Sorry, new and clean install it should be. Clean install. So the target defined is install. So you can see it has succeeded and it is deploying artifact on this location and it has succeeded. If you go back and refer the GitHub, you can see under the Java app, you can see the war file is available. New app hyphen 0001 snapshot.war. Yeah, so this is what I was talking about. In the Java app, you see the war file. So this is the URL for the file. So using this URL, if you have access to the file, you can download it.